Hey there, golf fans. Today we're talking about Tiger Woods and his ex-girlfriend, Erica Herman, who is reportedly suing him over non-disclosure agreements or NDA she signed while they were in a relationship. The complaint was filed in Martin County, Florida and seeks declaratory judgment, claiming that the NDA should be nullified under a federal law that prohibits an NDA from being enforced when sexual assault or sexual harassment is involved. So let's back up a little bit. Woods and Herman had been in a six-year relationship, which began in 2017. She had been seen regularly with him at major championships, such as the 2019 Masters he won for his 15th major, and during his President's Cup captaincy in Australia later that year. However, she was not at his Hero World Challenge in the Bahamas in December of 2022, or at the Genesis Invitational he hosted at Riviera three weeks ago. According to the complaint, a trust controlled by Woods is attempting to silence Herman with the NDA he signed. While involved in a personal and professional relationship with Woods, the complaint argues that the NDA should be nullified because of aggressive use of the NDA. Herman is unsure whether she can disclose facts giving rise to various legal claims that she believes she has. It also says she's unsure of what other information about her own life she can discuss and with whom. Now, we don't know exactly what Herman might want to disclose or make specific allegations against Woods about. However, the fact that she's taking legal action against him is a pretty big deal. Not only does it mean that their relationship likely ended on less than amicable terms, but it also raises questions about Woods' conduct while they were together. This isn't the first time Woods has faced legal trouble over his personal life. Back in 2019, he was involved in a highly publicized scandal when it was first revealed that he had been cheating on his then-wife, Ellen Nordigen, with multiple women. The scandal ultimately led to Woods taking a break from golf and entering rehab for sex addiction. Since then, Woods has been on the comeback trail, winning major championships and regaining his status as one of the greatest golfers of all time. However, this latest legal issue could potentially damage his reputation once again. If Herman's claims are true, it could suggest that Woods hasn't completely left his scandalous past behind. Similarly, in 2010, porn star Jocelyn James came forward with claims that she had an affair with Woods for several years while he was married. She released text messages and voicemails that she said were from Woods, proving their relationship. In addition to the potential impact on Woods' reputation, this lawsuit also highlights the issue of non-disclosure agreements and their use in situations involving sexual harassment or assault. Many argue that NDAs are often used to protect abusers or harassers and prevent victims from speaking out and seeking justice. Several high-profile cases, such as the Harvey Weinstein scandal, have brought attention to the issue of NDAs and their impact on survivors or sexual assault of harassment. In response, some states have passed laws restricting the use of NDAs in such cases. These past allegations against Woods make the current lawsuit from Erica Herman all the more significant. While we don't yet know the specifics of what she may want to disclose, it is possible that her claims could corroborate the stories of other women who have alleged misconduct by Woods. It's also worth noting that Woods has had a tumultuous personal life in addition to his high-profile affairs. In addition to his rehab stint for sex addiction, he's also been arrested for driving under the influence and has had multiple back surgeries that have impacted his golf career. Of course, it's important to remember that we don't know all the details of the situation. Woods' representatives have not yet commented on the lawsuit, so we don't know his side of the story. It's also worth noting that just because someone files a lawsuit doesn't necessarily mean they have a strong case. It's possible that the court will ultimately rule in Woods' favor and the NDA will remain intact. Still, it's hard to ignore the fact that Woods has a history of controversial behavior when it comes to his personal life. His reputation took a hit after the 2009 scandal, and this latest legal issue certainly doesn't help matters. It's unclear how this will play out, but one thing is for sure, the golf world will be watching closely. It's also worth considering the broader implications of this lawsuit. If Herman's claims are true and Woods did engage in inappropriate behavior while they were together, it raises questions about power dynamics in relationships. NDAs are often used to silence victims of sexual harassment or assault, and if Woods used one to silence Herman, it could suggest that he was trying to protect himself from accountability. Furthermore, Woods has been a figurehead in golf world for decades, inspiring many young players and golf enthusiasts. The allegations brought against him by Herman could have a lasting impact on his reputation. 